All right, consoles. Who wants a treat? That is not how you pick up games. That's how you pick up puppies. Oh, this is true. That's how I pick up puppies. Oh, puppy love. She slimed mm -hmm. me. We love puppies. So yes, that's not how I pick up games because that's how you pick up puppies. <laughs> um, kind of a special <laughs> game pickup though. Uh, one way that we definitely love to pick up games are with limited run games. As you can tell, we are something of collectors Just and a preservationists. Just a little bit. And because of that, it's actually very <laughs> difficult for us to get into digital games. I love the idea of digital games, especially for kids. But We like a tangible yeah, copy that you can yeah. hang on to. Because eventually those servers might not work anymore, or your, your system may crash, or whatever. And then it's gone. Plus, I mean, who doesn't like having, you know, a nice sexy cartridge that you have to you know do dirty things and go into and am I, rust. am I creeping everybody <laughs> out yet but anyway so limited run games is awesome because yes, they do take them. a lot of digital games and they put them on a physical media uh they're really big in the ps vita department which means even though sony has kind of dropped a lot of support for the ps vita as well as a lot of third-party publishers <laughs> Uh, obviously, Limited Run has been taking good care of them. You love RPGs. Oh, man, the Vita is a great place to be, too. Mm -hmm. However, we've been doing a lot of PS4 games. So, first of all, and this is kind of a, a little bit of a catch-up, by the way. They had a great run of games for a little bit, and so we finally got to take a breather and, and look at some of these. So, first of all is Oceanhorn Monster of Uncharted Sea. Uh... This was a mobile game, I believe, it's cute. and I was really excited to check it out on mobile because it looks like it's all of the best elements of Zelda games, especially Wind Waker, and just kind of on the PlayStation. And hey, it does there's look nothing kind wrong of very with that. Zelda, I mean, you've got these like flying one-eyed monsters. Oh yeah, menacing bearded man. Every obviously every beard is ah. evil. <laughs> I love how goatees, especially. Signify evil. Uh, that's how you have evil Spocks. <laughs> yeah, that's the only way you get evil Spock. Yeah, or evil... Didn't I get a thing, a comic book recently with evil Picard on That's it? right. And, and even, he had a go yeah, TT. Or go TT. He had a go TT. But, uh, <laughs> so yeah, our main character, I mean, he he looks like a total Link ripoff. You know, mm -hmm. he's got kind of a blue tunic. The, you know, kind of a similar tunic that you start off with in Wind Waker even. But very much the visual style. But the thing is... It's always great getting these because, of course, you have your nice, lovely disc. Mm -hmm. They give you these fun uh, little like, trading cards yeah, and everything, cards or something. which are always kind of neat, just a yeah. neat little thing. Sometimes they'll have booklets or inlays, and then you get your little uh, reward ticket and everything that you can use. Are but these numbered, like, other limited, like, like The thing? games? Mm-hmm. The games are limit, or uh, they're numbered, as far as I know, for what game they are. Oh, so they don't do, like... Number 29 of 2000 or whatever. Not they don't to number my like knowledge, that. unless it would have anything to do with the number at the bottom oh, on the okay. spine here. Because I know sometimes, you know, when you have the limited, I know these are called limited run, <laughs> but when you have limited run op things, you know, they'll come with like that uh, certificate of authenticity. Blech. I can't speak tonight, ladies and gentlemen. But... So I didn't know if that's if they did it that way too. The only reason I don't know that is because we only do the one game at a time, yeah, we so we don't have anything to compare it with. Well, I mean, like as far as getting oh, a second I copy see what you're saying. I see to see what you're if the numbering saying. would be different. If you guys know, though, I would love to yeah, let find us know. out about that. Also, I was always curious: the cards are they always randomized cards? Because the cards have a number. This is number sixteen. And I was very curious about if whenever people get these, do they just get random cards? Yeah, so that's a good thing. In the on, in the comments below, or if you follow us on Facebook even, um, 
take a picture of your card if you get the limited run games and show us what card clicks that you got you know like especially if you got this game show us what card you got maybe we can all kind of compare what cards we got yeah you know that might be the others. might be neat and maybe if you got it on xbox one and playstation 4 and you got the same cards maybe we can do a little community and be like hey you want to trade cards because i'd rather you know i'd like to have two <laughs> cards i don't know but i want to see your guys's cards so like us on Facebook and either share it on there or share it in the comments below this video. I think it would be fun to see those. That would be a lot of fun. <laughs> um, the next game, I, these are out of order as far as when we got them, <laughs> is East Origin. I call it East. Is it Yeast? East Wise? Uh, but this is... Y-S. That's what this I say, it. Uh, a long-running <laughs> RPG series. I remember seeing Yeast 3 on the Super Nintendo at our video rental store. And I was always just amazed by it. I mean, it looked gorgeous on the back, of course. Yeah, it's very and pretty. I was real big in RPGs back in the day. I couldn't get enough of them. I, I'm a little, you know, less time nowadays to dedicate to an RPG. But uh, I was excited when they showed this one. And it's got a little mini poster on the inside. You have one like the cover art and then one with your, your characters. And then there's our card. And then there's our card. And, of course, it comes with the lovely disc. This one's kind of neat, though, because it's got two different covers. Yes. This is something that I really enjoy when Limited Run does. It gives you an option. Now, mine actually came shipped to me with this cover, but there was just something that I really liked about the other one, where you could see the tower in the background. It looked really cool to me, mm -hmm. but just the little things of having an option to do that was really neat. Now, of course, as you can see with this one, because it came with a little mini poster, it doesn't have a booklet, but, I mean, pretty sure we can figure, figure out how to play this one. Um, moving on, the next game is Wonder Boy the Dragon Trap. Wonder Boy! This is another game that had is alternate this Wonder covers. Wonder little boy? Is this oh, his son? You know what? Could be. Look at those big doughy eyes and, you know, the, the star on the shoe. Oh, Star on the shield. Ha, Wonder. Ha, see, I knew it. Wonder Woman I and Captain America it. had a little trist. But this You're was... You're crossing genres there. You're crossing DC that's, and Marvel. That's why, they, that's why they disowned him. That's why he, they left him hair. in uh, Monster Land. <laughs> They're like, oh, he's... he's <laughs> no uh, one can find out. No. But this was another game that had the uh, two different covers. It came with the modern cover on mine, but I had to switch it out. So there's the, the modern cover, which is nice and everything, but I had to switch it out to that old Sega Master System look. A nice touch, however, is if you can see on the modern cover, it has the modern graphics, whereas on the retro cover, it does the retro graphics. Now, this is the one that you can change it, can't you? Yes, I that's something that. that's so cool about this game. With the press of a button on the controller, you can switch between the modern or the retro graphics. And it's a, so cool being able to do that. I have such a hard time watching him play this game because it's like, I can't tell which one I want to see. It's like, I want him to play a level in one way and then restart that level and then play it in the modern. Because it's so cute and it really is different. It is. It's very, it's, I mean, obviously the gameplay is the same, but I mean, a lot of what they chose to put in the background or the foreground yes. is very different. The colors are even different. It's not just they took, you know, an 8-bit screen and, or 16-bit since it's Sega, right? 16-bit uh, with the Master it, System. 8-bit. Eight, eight um, and just modernized it. No, I mean, they really changed it up. It's, it's very fun. It's very reminiscent of Super Mario All-Stars when you had the original Mario games, but then you had that 16-bit upgrade, and then you started having all of that cool stuff in the background. So instead of yeah. just a blue sky, you would have the domed mountains and everything like that. Your card. Our card, a little reminiscent of the, the front cover. Everyone's kind of... Trying to jump it looks in, like they're trying to do like a, a major, selfie. Yeah, selfie. <laughs> like that selfie that Ellen DeGeneres took on one of the award shows. This, I don't this is remember the which one it is. Wonder Boy one. The one that broke the internet or whatever. Um, back to the alternating between the old school and new school graphics. Another thing that they do that I wanted to point out were the sound effects and the music. You can uh -huh. actually swap those too. Yeah. So you can play it retro graphics, retro audio, or modern all the way, or you can mix it up. You can have modern graphics, retro audio, or vice versa. It's 
It's a lot of fun. It's, just a, cool it's, it's a fun little game to watch and everything. It's I really enjoy watching it. Oh, it's a great platformer. It's yeah. so much fun. Uh, kind of some slight Metroidvania elements of you know oh, I can't get past this wall. You have to go find this item to progress. Yeah. So that's always cool. I obviously that you know once they're done they're done. But if you can find this game, I highly recommend you getting it. Oh, it's a it's, ton of fun. It's so much fun. And then last, oh my goodness, we managed to get the collector's edition of Night Trap, and I was so nervous about trying to get this. I knew that a lot of people would be going after this This was the one, one that we heard a lot of other YouTubers actually say this was the one yes. limited run game that they wanted. So we were really nervous. Him and I both, two different computers hitting refresh <laughs> just so that we want uh, we just wanted one we didn't want to yeah, get we, you know we didn't want a bunch of them we just wanted one so we just once one game. of us got it we're like i got it we're like all right and then we <laughs> and then relax. it was all cool yeah uh i think maybe metal jesus was talking about this either metal jesus or one of his uh co-hosts that he had on his show were talking about wanting to get this and i told her immediately i was like no Yep. No other YouTubers are after it. We don't stand a chance, yep. but, but we she managed, proved me wrong. We got it. This is one of those, I don't know if anybody knows anything about Night Trap, but again, this is another one of my favorites, live action gameplay. <laughs> yeah. <the laughs> I don't know school, why I love that so much. It's the just, old school FMV. Oh, it's hilarious. This one was the very, this was the deluxe special edition. I mean, mm -hmm. this was, this was not the normal one. So you got the big cover. Whoops. Didn't know you put it in there. Upside. Now. Do you remember the big deal about Night Trap, or do you know about the big deal about Night Trap? Because of it having that FMV and looking, you know, realistic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so realistic. <laughs> but because of that, using real people and everything, this is one of the games that really kicked off the formation of the ESRB, the ratings board system for mm -hmm. video games. And it was because of, oh, you know, so scantily clad. But then also the violence depicted towards the women in the game and everything. Because it's a sleepover and you have vampires. I don't think that's a vampire. <laughs> that's a knight or something. <laughs> but With a remote control in his hand. This, this was a big a deal back in the day. So <laughs> it's, it's very cool to have this in an affordable form because of the history of it. You know, yeah. with forming the, the ratings board system. And then cut, it came in a nice little tray... And we got a little iron-on patch. Yeah, with the Scat team. That's a it's a great name for a team, isn't it? Looking stick. No. And then this one came with a limited run sticker. <laughs> and then I know you guys are all waiting for. <laughs> I can get it out. A little tab. Ta-da! The game. And the cool thing here, another reversible cover. Now, when you reverse it, you can have the red cover, like in the box. Mm -hmm. But, of course, I had to go with the Sega CD covers. I crunch it all up, <laughs> trying to hold on to it. Don't hurt it! But anyway, the, uh, the classic blue lines of the Sega CD games and everything. <laughs> and then, of course, we got our, our card in it. Which is kind of neat, and we definitely want to see what cards you guys yes. got. Yes, let us know if you got any different cards. And this one, along with a booklet. Well, since this was the deluxe one, the least yes. they could do is give us a booklet, yeah. too. Their mission. Special control attack team. <laughs> so it has a, has a little mission background and everything. Kind of the story, like back in the NES days when you had to get your story from the booklet. And it also came with a pretty snazzy poster look at that little cover art poster i like the poster yeah very cool a such cool a poster. great b movie vibe oh there. yeah totally and it also came with oh my gosh what is that quick quick little uh history lesson here kids before what 1999 or something <laughs> i don't know when they stopped making these what is this it's not a play button it's a cassette tape I love that it's red, though. It's a great color. Red the color. Yeah. The blood, color. because this game is so violent. Oh, wait. There's one more surprise. Oh. What is this now? You used to take these objects and put it in this object. Did you put it in the right Probably. way? Probably. 
Probably not. I don't know. What okay. I meant probably not. Probably didn't mean probably. I, I don't think. So. I didn't know. Flip it. How many times did you think you were ready to go on a bike ride and you put in nothing and you're like, oh crap, I gotta turn it over? Our old cassette player. <laughs> Sounding think. a little old. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> this sounds. That's uh. I think our cassette player is dying. Yeah. Oh, you've got it on speed. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the technical difficulties. <laughs> we'll have to find a better record. <laughs> that Maybe. That sounds awful. This didn't go as planned. <laughs> well, that's live TV for you, folks. So, it's uh... <laughs> It has the Night Trap theme song and then the auger bathroom scene, uh, <laughs> screaming villains and everything. But it's kind of just a cool little novelty piece to throw in there. <laughs> it's easy back to the day. Hopefully you have a better set player than we do. Is that we... even a Walkman? No, That's no. probably why. It's not a Walkman. But <laughs> anyway, technical difficulties aside. Um, that is our game. I would love to know if you guys get in on the limited run games. I know a lot of people get upset because they're limited run and they go fast. Oh my goodness, they go so yes, fast they online. Do. Within 20 seconds, it feels like. I mean, I'm sure it takes a little longer than that, but sometimes it feels like they're gone. And I get that, <laughs> you know, it can be very frustrating. But, you know, when you're putting the money into making all this stuff, you obviously don't want it just sitting around collecting dust. You want it to sell. So... It's still a very neat thing to get into, and the majority of these games are mm -hmm. actually available digitally for purchase, uh, the majority, if not all of them. So it's not like you have to try to get these games just to be able to play them. You can still play them digitally. And really, the whole limited run aspect is just if you're a collector and you want that physical piece yeah. of history. So, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of a, a very hit or miss thing. But because of that, I definitely want to know if you guys get in on it and what limited run games you've picked up or even what games you would love to see yeah, in the future. Yeah, which ones do you want to see them do? They might be listening. Who knows? Yes, there's there's quite a few. There's some that I missed out on. Uh, Saturday yeah. morning RPG. Yeah, uh, that would have been good. I would have loved to have had that one. That would have been great. Yeah. So like, comment, subscribe. Uh, <laughs> Show us your cards. Let us know what cards you guys got in yours. See if they're all the same or if they're different. Let us know if, if you had better luck trying to play the tape, <laughs> if you got a hold of this. That was awful, that wasn't was, it? That was terrible. That was awkward. Speaking of awkward. <laughs> see vampires. They got vampire tea. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> See you, nerdlings. Bye. <laughs>